Hey guys, what's going on? Sherman here. Today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of amazing handmade custom leather wallets. Now, I don't have a whole lot of wallet reviews, uh, really only one, but if you guys know me and have been keeping up with my channel, you know that I have been carrying the Helmet & Holsters Combat Wallet a lot, and even before that, I was carrying the County Com LA Wallet. Well, that one eventually broke. I still carry the Combat Wallet, uh, but these wallets have been what I've been carrying primarily uh, for the past few, uh, really, months. And they've really turned me on to leather wallets, at least to this, you know, of this same quality. Uh, these are made by McGregor Customs, uh, Jeff McGregor, great guy. I'll put a link in the description to his Instagram page and his uh, website. But I first heard about him on Instagram and was just blown away by his work. I had never seen leather wallets made quite like this. Uh, to this quality and with this much this much detail in the tooling. Uh, this one, this is one of his carbon clipper wallets. I actually won this from an Instagram giveaway he was doing. One of the only things I ever won and also probably the nicest thing that I've ever won in, in, a, in a giveaway. Uh, this thing is just incredible and this really changed my, uh, changed my mind about leather wallets because before I'd had, you know, a couple of you know, cheaper, you know, quote-unquote genuine leather wallets. Uh, this one just really made me love high-quality leather wallets. Uh, so after I had this for a few months, I contacted him and commissioned him to make me this wallet. This is one of his slim wallets. So it's different. It doesn't have the money clip. And I had to put my own custom touch. So th uh, this one I won, and it was just like this when I got it. Uh, this, he just made this for the giveaway. Uh, but this one is a uh, complete custom. I told him exactly what I wanted. I, I actually threw out a couple of options. And like I said, he, he worked with me. And he's just, he's cool like that. He's super easy to talk to. You know, he'll work with you. And uh, he said he'd never done a Transformers wallet before. So I'm like, all right, let's go with that. You know, that's going to be something that obviously I love. You guys know I'm a huge Transformers nut. And, you know, he asked me what colors I wanted and, you know, design layout and everything. And. I kind of gave him just uh, artistic freedom with it. You know, he told, you know, he's telling me about, you know, the Decepticon logo wouldn't fit perfectly vertical, so he had to put it horizontal. Um, and he sent me a bunch of uh, progress pictures, you know, progress report, you know, what do you think, stuff like that. And, you know, he's just, he's super cool. But this wallet is sick. I love this wallet. And just the fact that, you know, you know I gave him the design and then he did this. You know, the, the, that collaboration, just, you know, this is my, you know, exactly what I wanted. And here it is, just a complete custom. I, I love it. So, let's get some of the stuff off the table. But this is some of the stuff you're going to get with your wallets. He has this little card, which is awesome. And it has just kind of a basic uh, care information about the leather, about the, you know, it's being a natural product and how to treat it and whatnot. And then his business card. 100% handcrafted leather goods. He has motorcycle seats and holsters. Uh, but I've seen him make a lot of sheaths for other things, too. So, you know, contact him and tell him what you want, and I'm sure he's going to hook you up. And then you'll get this little cool, it's, I think it's neat, 3%er, $3 bill. It's not a real $3 bill, it's printed, but uh, it came in the back of the my money clip just to kind of demonstrate. I thought it was neat, so I held on to it. Uh, but anyway, uh, this, like I said, this is his carbon clipper. It is a card wallet with just a single pocket. But I carried mostly, I think I carried about four cards in here. I don't carry a whole lot of cards. I uh, just have a couple of random ones I brought out here. Show you guys. This is six cards. It's in there just fine because I had this thing stretched out a little bit. Because I had four cards and a couple of other things. Which equals out to about five or six cards. But you know, they fit in there snug. They're not going to fall out. And it has a thumb cut out right here. Or just a finger cut out. But I use my thumb to push and to get my, you know, my desired card out that I want. And it's just super easy. I, I but you have to be into minimalist wallets, which I definitely am. I love card wallets. Um, let's put let's put four cards in there. So four cards. And like I said, when I got this, it was tighter than it is now. I've eventually stretched it out with with the amount of cards that I have, uh, which gives it a kind of a custom fit. You know, these, uh, they have a little bit more slide, but they're not going to fall out in your pocket because I've carried this amount. Um, but with the money clip, the way it's positioned in there, 
Uh, it's, so it's a smooth surface, very smooth surface. So you have the smooth plastic and it's gliding over that. So you have a higher chance of it um, not falling out, but these slipping a little bit. But I've never had that happen in my pocket because, you know, I carry my wallet usually face down and you'd think, you know, gravity would take over and make these fall out, but it never has. So no worries about that. Like I said, when you get it, it's, it's very tight. So you got to kind of, you know, work it, uh, break it in, get it used to the amount of cards that you want to carry. Um, but his, his clipper wallets have a genuine carbon fiber money clip integrated into it. This is not the laminate stuff. It's not you know, G10 with a layer of carbon fiber. This is 100% genuine carbon fiber. So this is the Red Twill. It's beautiful, awesome amount of retention. And I believe you can change these out. He sells these separately on his website. And he also sells just the money clip to be used because uh, I think the ones used for this wallet and just regular money clips are different shape. Um, but I did not, like I said, I did not get to choose this design. This was already there when I won it. But just look at the amount of detail that went into this. Now these are all he uh, these are all dyed by him with vegetable dye. Just amazing amount of detail and quality. Now up there, Matt Gregory Customs. The thickness of that leather, very impressive, and just the stitching and everything. How thick that stitching is, just incredible craftsmanship. I think. I'm just super durable. I've carried this a lot and I've been sweating in this. I've gotten it wet and there has been no deterioration of the leather and it's just, it's held up. There's no scratches or damage to it whatsoever. Just super durable and I'm very impressed. Uh, but like I said, after I've had that, I had that for a while, I wanted another one. And originally I wanted to get a clipper, but I had seen uh, one of his posts on there of this. This is his Slim Wallet. So it's the same thing, it has one card slot in the front, but instead of a money clip, turn it around, it has a longer uh, money slot back here. Or, you know, cards, you can fit cards down there. By the way, it's, it's name again, Matt Gregor Customs. Very cool, that's his logo. Uh, but I mainly just use that for cash. I stick, or, you know, whatever little, I never really have cash on me, but stick it down in there, or my gym card, or, you know, whatever. Just slide down in there, and then I carry my cards in it. In the front, um, like the other one, we just put about six cards in here. It's a little bit harder because this one's a little tighter because I've carried fewer cards in it. Uh, let's just put five. But it's the same deal. It's got the little cut out there. You can slide the cards out. Super easy to get to. It also lacks the money clip coming through the back, so it's rough leather on rough leather. So it retains the cards a lot, a lot better. Or not a lot better, but a little bit better than this one. Uh, with the same amount of cards in it. Um, but just same quality, how thick that leather is. And just, man, how awesome is that? But I had seen on his website, or his uh, Instagram page, he had a slim wallet similar to this one, and um, I believe it was on one side, it was a Spartan helmet, and on the other side, I think it had two Spartan helmets or something. I think, I could be wrong. But it just, it, I was like, okay, I need, I wanna get a slim wallet you know change it up but, you know this one has has uh has conformed to the shape of my butt <laughs> just from carrying it so much but here again i carried this at work i've sweat in it I, or i've gotten sweat on it and it has not discolored or anything uh, it has a little bit of wear here from going in and out of my pocket but that's it and he can refinish these at least to some degree you know, you know, with the amount of detail and work to go into these wallets and just how sturdy they are, they're not going to need a lot of work. But if something were to happen, you know, it rips somehow, a thread comes loose, or whatever, I'm sure you can contact him and he'll and he will hook you up. Um, but um, and just kind of as a point of reference, and I'm not knocking other wallets by any means, uh, but this is a just a regular fossil wallet, genuine leather. Uh, like I said, I'm not knocking it. It's a great wallet. I love fossil products, but I just wanted to show you a comparison between custom handmade leather and factory made. So we have the fossil wallet here on the left, Matt Gregor over here on the right, and look at the difference in the thread. Yeah, this one's double stitched, but the thread is super thin compared to the thickness of the thread on this wallet. And also the thickness of the leather itself. Look at that. 
Look at the difference. So like I said, not knocking this wallet because people have had these kinds of wallets for decades and they're just fine. So, you know, if these hold up, imagine how long and how well this will hold up. So just a little quick comparison for you guys, just to, you know, to test to the quality and some of the differences. Um, definitely go on his website, or really either his Instagram or his website. His Instagram, you can see a lot more of his work, I think. And you can see projects he's done for other people and get a good idea of what he can do. Because like I said, this is an amazing amount of detail. He's done even more detailed wallets than this. Uh, definitely go on there and check that out. Check out his Death Trooper wallet. And it's a different shape. It looks like a storm. It's in the shape of a stormtrooper head. Uh, he has a couple of other different uh, designs for wallets he does. But, but um, th these are just the two that I have. The Clipper, the Slim. He also has a Bifold. And like I said, a couple of other different designs and shapes. He can do exotic skins. But when you go on his website, he has a bunch of wallets that are already made that you can go ahead and order. And of course, they vary in price from material and design and whatnot. Or you can go on there and completely custom make one like I did. Uh, and you can also do that through his Instagram. You know, tell him what you want, um, you know, what kind of leather, what color you want it, what design. You can send him pictures of, you, of an idea of, you, of something you want, and he'll do it. But when you get a custom, he, uh, I believe he only does customs for the clippers, the slims, and the bifolds. And uh, he may make exceptions, I'm not sure. You know, definitely ask him if you have an idea. Uh, but on his website, when you go to order a custom, it's just those three options. And they vary in price, like I said. But super easy to work with. And if you want a custom piece of, of leather work, you know, if you're looking into getting a new wallet with maybe your company name on it, something that's special to you like this is to me, uh, definitely, definitely check him out. Like I said, great guy. Amazing work. Uh, you just can't ask for more. So, like I said, I highly, highly recommend these wallets. Uh, these have been the only two wallets I've been carrying. Uh, I'll, be ca I'll carry this one every now and then, um, just to test it out. Uh, I got it for a really good price. It's one of those things like I kind of can't not buy it. But I still really miss carrying these when I'm carrying this. And you know, I'll still carry the Hellbent Holsters Combat wallet every now and then. Don't get me wrong. I still love that wallet. But there's just something to... There's just something about the level of quality that, that go into these and just the the time and you know I'm, I'm all about that Just the you know, the time and energy that went into making these is so cool to me And it's just very you know leather is you know kind of not outdated by any means But it's becoming more and more rare to see leather products. So it's that kind of uh, you know, it's cool It's it's kind of I guess rustic if you if you want uh, you know, for lack of a better word, but it's just cool. You know, it's just it's really neat. I really enjoy carrying pieces like this. Like I said, that has somebody's uh, you know hard work that goes into it. But anyway, guys, rambled on long enough. I just I wanted to show these to you guys. I know a lot of you probably haven't heard of them, and uh, I hadn't until a couple of weeks before I won this one in his contest. I had just seen them on one of my friend's Instagram posts. I'm like, oh, that was really cool. So. Trying to get the word out and just wanted to show you guys, you know. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Definitely, definitely go check him out. I'll put a link in the description to his website and Instagram page. Uh, let him know that I sent you and um, just tell him what you want and he'll definitely work with you. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, stay sharp, and God bless. Sherman614, peace.